is Eamon G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas, where the fans are going crazy as the players take the field. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They make the stop right around the 38-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Swings it out there incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. And that's all. Russell gains four yards on that reception. That'll make it third and five. From their own 42-yard line. Third down. Throw in left. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. Makes his way out to about the 25. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Fires it again to his tight end. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Scramble. Man left, man left. From the 18 yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at about the nine yard line. About nine yards there for the quarterback. That'll bring up third and four. It's the ninth play of the drive. Just throws this one away. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Colorado is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Becker is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25. The Horn Frogs and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Catches it, and he's 
punished. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 31. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Colorado holds a field goal lead. Strike to his receiver, no good. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31. Tight end and in and out of his hands. Got a man in and out of his hands. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Brown, the return man. Brown fields it at the 26. They'll bring him down at the 38. Returns for a gain of 12 yards. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's taken down at about the 49. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First and 10, ball on the 49. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 39. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. to the back quickly off his hands incomplete Evans was the intended receiver on the play they're going to try a long field goal here TCU is looking to tie things up kicks up and he got it boy he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through very impressive leg strength and this one's not an up and three they line up to kick this one away and he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defense, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle, and down he goes at the 28 yard line. He's 
he's under some heat. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Watts is the putter. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinator, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Over the middle, there's tailback. He's tackled at the 40. From the 40-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he's tackled right away. the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 53-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now... 10-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Horned Frogs are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, right? you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds. That's the 28. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Looks middle, got his back, and he tackles him hard at the 29. a great tackle at the 36. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Stop at midfield. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands after one. TCU's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Ah, 
scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll bring up 32. This is the eighth play of this drive. Well, if you missed a long field goal try, you give your opponent great field position. Punting would allow you to pin them deep and rely on the defense. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU up seven points. Caught out in the open. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Gets to about the 37-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. I got one, I got one. Let's go, let's go. In the shotgun and five wide out. Quick strike, and he drops it. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Stanley is back deep to return the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Stanley fields it at the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Call it a game of nine yards. First down. Double tight, double tight. Blue Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 48. Harris on the tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Out of bounds at the 47. Fourth and three. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Yeah. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Johnston's having a tough first two quarters, Kirk, right now. Can't hang his head, though, because he could be very important before this game's all over. Good point. He's going to have to stay positive. This team's going to need him before this game is, is over. Uh, right now, this team has the lead. He's not played well. Do not be surprised at all. This team will make some adjustments at halftime. They'll come out shooting again in the second half. And you know he's still going to be involved. And because of his big playability, he could just be one play away from making a game-changing play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. TCU is up seven. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of four yards. On the that brings up third and 14. It fourth and 12. Stanley will be the return man. <laughs> Stanley fields it to 41, and he just got stood up right there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. With room to work. He's at the 40. And they push him out right around the 34. That's good for a game. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 34. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and ten. Looks left, finding his tailback. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. Gain of six on the play. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Blue 14. Blue 14. Strike to his receiver. No good. Number 15 is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. It's up. And he splits the uprights. Kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU is up by four. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. And he is drilled at the 45. Wells with the tackle at the 45 yard line. That makes so it it's second and down and about two yards to go. Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. 
Fires it out. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great lead and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. TCU is going to use their first time out of the half here. That'll make it second and long. We've got second and long. Ball on the 48-yard line. Ready! Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. the 32 yard line they went back to the same play that time yeah you're right same play as the one before and they got a good completion in a nice game first and ten ball on the 32 yard line now he tries to buy some time and they got him the horn frogs use their second timeout, and this is the ninth play of the current drive tcu is up four He's scrambling, and they got it. That'll bring up third and long. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Looks the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. He's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 24. Five wide. to 40. It's halftime and we've got a close one. The Horned Frogs lead it by four. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I... Defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks. You know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. 
TCU holds a four-point lead. Got it. And he goes down quickly. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. Regular, regular, regular. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 45. the 45 yard line first down he fights forward to about the 43 gain of two yards that brings up second and nine watch, watch the run watch the run that's a baby shot that's a baby shot let's go let's go Three, five, eight, five, eight. Eight. laterals Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. TCU is up by four. They'll bring him down around the 19-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he's taken down around the 11-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Up, 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 180. Caught over the middle. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. the extra point. So a nine-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says, finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to the opponent's territory. Lewis fakes the handoff, makes the catch, and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31. Gain of six yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. Zips it to the tight end, and he's tackled at the 48-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. I got number 23. I got the 23. Down. Blue 14. Blue 14. 
Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Standing was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. Tackle around the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Game of three yards. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From the 19-yard line, second down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Oh, a game of seven yards. That makes it third and three. This is the tenth play of this drive. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's a gain of eight on the play. That first, and first and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 17 13. They line up to kick this one away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Buffaloes have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution he's seen from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play ball. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 36. TCU is up four. Got a man. Watch out here. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes, right around the 34. Call the game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 15. Right, 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 right. 
It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 25. Fires it quickly. Davis was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. TCU holds a four-point lead. Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds at the 17. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. Gets rid of it. Going long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Very awesome intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Brown, the return man. Oh, man, he took him down hard. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. TCU is up a score. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. Seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Here we go. 180. Why? 80. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 30. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. That's three down and one to go. The Horn Frogs with a touchdown lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 15-yard line.
from the 15-yard line. First down. TCU is up by a touchdown. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down right around the eight-yard line. That's a game seven in the play. That'll bring up second and three. Three passes for touchdowns. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. He makes the PAT. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Forward to about the 20. That makes it second and eight. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. about the 23. Watts to punt. And down he goes at the 47. For Colorado, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to him on several occasions. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. And that's always been a very positive thing. It'll keep the defense honest, and they won't be able to just play the pass. Even with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 49. Fires it out. He's at the 40. And they finally knock him out at the 15. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. They make the stop around the seven yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Ready. Come on, Dave. Touchdown, TCU. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 54-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when Whistle it was foul. thrown. Let's find Clip out. It. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 18. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. Harris with the tackle at the 25-yard line. First down. He wants it all going long. Almost picked off. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Blue 14. Blue 14. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Laser across the middle. And he's tackled at the 30 yard line. Cardinals makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. Fourth down. Brown will be the return man. Tackle made at the 39. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's taken down. Right around the 48-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Throws and it's incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Nice run to the outside. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. No gain. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Ready. 180. One. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number Ready. Mike, 980. Here Why? 80.
caught with room to work. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. Number 53 on the tackle at the 24-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Under a minute left in the game. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second and 10. Ball on the 32. On the throw, incomplete pass. Strike to his receiver, no good. Rice was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Watts is waiting for the snap. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. TCU 37, Colorado 13. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.